Howdy, how's it going? Welcome back, or howdy if you're new. Have you ever had an idea that's just so good that it wakes you up in the middle of the night and you just can't get back to sleep? You're so excited. Burger, Wait a second. what? I think I just, yeah, I just had an idea. Tonight was that night, and I get to show you a solution for something that has been bugging me for quite a while. There are a lot of off-the-shelf solutions for what I'm about to show you, but I'm a tinkerer, and I like making what I have work. And when I can make a mod for free, it's free real estate. Let me show you a cool free mod that you might be able to take advantage of if you have one of these right here, a handheld DIY backplate from your old OG ally. And even if you don't have one of these, there is a lot of solutions that I'll try to link below that might help you out. If you wanna just snap one of these on without having to do any of the FAFO I'm gonna show you, I have just the solution for you. And I'll definitely talk about it in another video as well. But I'm gonna show you why I did this. So let's show you what this is right here. This is the handheld DIY backplate for the original ally. Well, you can see right here on my purple one, I have removed this piece right here. And what this is, is a kickstand. And not just any ordinary kickstand, it has little slots at the top for an Apple watch band. And you're wondering, well, why do I need an Apple watch band on the back of my handheld? Well, I'm glad you asked. Boom, this right here is exactly why you need it. This is a Ugreen 25,000 milliamp battery bank, and this thing is going to give you nearly double the battery life of your handheld. Doesn't matter if you have an Ally, Ally X, this thing is gonna keep it charged, and you will be able to take advantage of this port right here, which can easily do 140 watts on a dedicated output. I've got this little short cable right here and this little 90 degree adapter to make it look really sleek and professional. You can even get one of these right here that's got the little LCD on it if you want something a little bit different. I'll link these below. But let me show you how freaking easy this thing was to install. I, I just, I couldn't believe I hadn't thought about this sooner. So this is how it straps on just like so. Super easy peasy. Then you can take that and go set it aside, go charge it up, or whatever you wanna do. And this is what your kickstand is gonna look like. And this little watch band right here, they slide in and out pretty easy. And so now you can take your handheld and you can set it up as like a little free kickstand, dual purpose thing. It's, it's absolutely awesome. So if you're playing on a controller or using an external dock and it's not the kind that sits in there, bam, this is like, the coolest thing ever. I know you guys can see I'm excited, but like I am really excited about this thing. So here's how you do it, okay? If you have one of these handheld DIY backplates laying around, you've maybe retired your OG ally, or you just bought one of these and you got an extra one or something. Well, you flip it over and there are two screws on the back of this. You just simply remove those two screws off of here. Bam, it pops off. So then all you're going to basically do is align this on the back plate and you can use any type of like double-sided tape and tape it on and press pretty firmly and you can see exactly where these little holes are gonna go. So what I did is take some little double-sided tape like this and I cut it like so. And then all I did, see if I can actually do this in real time. You basically can take peel one end off now it works even better if you have one of these clear back plates this one's from eBay it's decent but I've got some new ones coming for the Ally X you'll definitely want to stay subscribed for but if you do have one of these right here you could just simply stick it on whichever back plate you're using if you're using the OG Ally X back plate you just line this bottom part up like that and you simply stick it on. Now, you can, if you want, just trace around this and use some really strong double-sided tape. Bam, problem solved. Like, really, it's 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 on here. Like, it's, it's definitely on there. Pretty dang good. But if not, you can just press that in there like that and try to get those little screw holes lined up. And then you'll just try to peel it off like like that and you have to kind of be careful to kind of keep it tacked down or whatever 
but I didn't do the best job. But you can clearly see one of the little holes right here, and then the other one is right there. I, I could do a much better job. I, I definitely did a better job the first time of peeling it off, but of course on camera it all falls apart, but... It's true. So then you'll take that and then you could take a tiny little drill bit uh, or you could take one of these little X-Cool screwdrivers that have the drill bit attachments and then you can dr just drill baby drill, go straight through it and then you'll take those little, whoop, those little screws that I told you to take out and you'll hold it up and you'll just run the screws through it. And now you've got a cool little kickstand slash battery holder that you got for free salvaged off of an old back plate. So I've got these laying around. You may not have these laying around. If you do, awesome. But I'll try to link some stuff in the description below that'll help you out. And then if you don't have anything, um, you could definitely make something. You could get creative. But having these little battery banks like this is a game changer. Because if you're like me, you like to play for a long, long time. And now you can just basically strap any of your favorite battery banks on and there you go. And then it also doubles as a kickstand. So you've got a battery that'll do double as a kickstand. You've got a kickstand that'll do kickstand. So it's, it's kickstand inception here. All right, well, this was a straight and to the point video, no fluff, no build up or nothing. Like this is just it, it's just a raw, mod video that will only take you a couple of minutes but these battery banks i use on every handheld i've had this one for like a year year and a half at least this thing gets beat to heck but the reason i wanted to do it with this one for real like i like this one don't get me wrong this is a 130 watt model it's really good it's got a nice little lcd on it but in my travel case it doesn't fit in here this is the butter fox but i call it the butter dog Butter dog, the dog with the butter, butter dog, I got the butter on him. We'll just pretend it says butter dog, uh, but I can take this little battery bank right here and I can shove it in there. It's, it's a tight fit, I'm not gonna lie, but look, now I can take that and then I can unstrap this and I can toss this in there like that. There we go, now I can toss that in there. Like so, I'm being rough, but you get the idea. I don't have to force it or anything like that. And now it's well protected. And that's my carrying case that I like to take everywhere with me. If I'm trying to travel light, I'll take one of my other thin and lightweight cases like the handheld DIY, but usually I like to carry a battery bank with me because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. Like if I'm going to the in-laws or I'm going to my family's house and we're going to have a lot of downtime, I like to bring this with me because after everyone goes for a nap or we go out to eat and we get back home and everybody's like tired, I'm, I'm going to play my, my ally when everybody's tired and not doing anything. So... Anyways, guys, well, I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned. I have a ton of cool mods coming. I've got a mod that I'm working on. Since you stayed to the end, I'll go ahead and tease it for you. I don't know if you can hear that over the train that's going on right now, but yes, those are clicky buttons. Yes, they are clicky buttons, but there is a huge caveat. Oh, uh, side note, by the way. Uh, handheld DIY reached out to me on the joysticks. If you haven't seen the video for the TMR uh, Hall Effect style joysticks, these are TMR by the way. TMR is actually better than Hall Effect. I admit I was a little wrong on the terminology, but TMR is what these are, which is an upgrade from Hall Effect. They're better than Hall Effects. I've compared them back to back to back on other Hall Effect sticks. These feel way better. But the other thing that I was wrong about, and it wasn't my fault, it was just you know, some communication uh, breakdowns there, but it was supposed to be a tighter spring. You guys know the advertisement and all the materials say tighter spring. The models you will receive will indeed have a tighter spring. The review sample that I received did not have a tighter spring, and I said I couldn't tell a difference. Well, that's why. So any of you guys that were holding out because it didn't have that tighter spring, you can rejoice. You can go ahead and order one of these. I'll leave them below as well. They will indeed have a tighter spring. And another positive note, I got asked a question. If you remove these or you reset the BIOS or reset the power or 
redo the OS or anything like that? Will you have to reset the calibration, the hardware calibration on these? And so far the answer is no. I actually pulled the power on these. I reset my BIOS. I redid everything I could to try to get them to change. And no, I think the calibration data saves on this chip for the center point and the outer zone. Now, of course, if you change your NVMe drive, or you reinstall Windows, I would advise recalibrating them, of course, but that's only in software. Hardware-wise, one and done, baby. That's it, real simple. All right, guys, well, I am rambling. It is 4.20 a.m., turn up. Um, so I'm gonna edit the video. I'm gonna toss the links below, and uh, you guys know, till the next one. I hope you have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.